Hello everyone and welcome to another episode uh, short again this time presenting the uh, Sinclair FTV uh, 01 or flat screen pocket TV from Sinclair introduced back in September 1983 a pretty cool and uh, innovative design like uh, most of the Cirque Live's uh, machines it is a 2 inch screen um, attached with some special uh, characteristics that makes it unique it didn't do well out in the markets uh, just uh, 15,000 sold or something like this which makes it really rare um, like a piece of television history some sort of um, so let's see how it looks and how it is uh, inside and then I'll show you um, a little trick I came up with in order to make it work um, and keep it um, alive not that uh, you can find many um, broadcasting uh, stations around anymore but uh, I'm just saying this has come to me in a pretty decent condition as far as I can see um, there is still the guarantee inside and the after sale service uh, notice from Sinclair back in the day and I hope uh, it works I have never tested this before um, we're gonna do this together the idea I is to see if it powers up uh, I do not expect there is no chance uh, we can see picture uh, because there are no um, uh, UHF uh, analog channels anymore um, but in any case um, we can see the on off switch right there down here which also uh, works as the volume and uh, next to it we can see the tuning uh, trimmer uh, w which uh, will give us a chance to search through the channels and actually th th yeah there is an indicator that um, yeah you can see tuning is moving along with a knob uh, searching for the for the channels and um, yeah it has no marks or scratches or anything it looks good there is a this black antenna uh, very distinctive very nice very nice antenna um, again we, 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 won't, we won't have the chance to test it uh, in real life but uh, anyways on the side we can see the earphone uh, plug and the power um, plug uh, on the other side there is a slim battery um, th you can place a Polaroid type of battery not available today I guess uh, or uh, how it how it was that called polar pulse something back in the day and at the back we can see the um, famous made in the UK designed by Cambridge uh, Sinclair research and all that um, and this little plastic works as a sa stand so you can have this yeah you can use this little plastic uh, flap as a stand so you can uh, place it on your desk and uh, supposedly you can yeah have it like this and uh, watch your favorite channel like this cool design symbol um, and useful I like it I like it the condition is very very uh, nice I'm happy uh, with this item I got and um, what else is there one thing um, I, w I have also got is the um, adapter you can see uh, it needs just a hundred uh, milliamps or something to work and it has this special jack uh, power jack on this on the side w and this reminds me of several other jacks from uh, I um, older uh, mobile phones or something that I uh, maybe I am I was thinking I have something like this in my spares but again the voltage uh, according to the label goes from 5 to 9 
I don't know exactly what that means, but um, the mains plug is the UK type. So one thing for sure is I'm not going to be using this. I cannot uh, use this uh, again. I should try to find another uh, plug like this uh, that fits and maybe create my own um, adapter after all. Um, I wouldn't destroy the power brick uh, in order to make it uh, the standard European so I'm gonna leave it as is and it goes like this it fits perfectly uh, yeah but I think um, yeah I'm not gonna be using this I'm gonna leave it on the side and try to find some other solution and what comes in my mind is uh, to get power since it's 5 volts and just a few milliamps needed uh, maybe I can uh, get power from the USB uh, connection so this is what I had in mind and apparently I managed to find something uh, like this um, in, in my spares um, I mean the edge the one uh, part of the cable that you can see here and I matched it uh, together with a USB cable standard to get 5 volts from a, co a standard computer USB port um, 2, 3, doesn't matter we just need the voltage um, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna test it right now and uh, keep the uh, power adapter uh, on the shelf um, I'm not gonna be using this at all so let's see if it works right so I have connected the um, the power of the jack uh, custom jack I have prepared with a cable um, um, that fits the television on one side and the USB connection to the other side and uh, I'm just uh, fooling around uh, with uh, channels we won't be able to see anything but I just wanted to see to verify that it works on the other side you can see it's um, plugged in my tower PC getting um, USB power from there and uh, there is a connection I have made you can see where is the point where I covered it with tape so I got the spares from my spares, uh, this uh, part, the that the jack that fits the TV, and um, another um <coughs> uh, spare cable for getting the um, USB connection, and put it together, and th this is uh, w how it looks. Um, the TV uh, looks fine. Uh, it could have been working with an analog signal available. Uh, but in any case, um, this is what I did. I think it's a fine solution uh, to keep it uh, alive if you uh, just think that it's best. And um, thanks for watching. Another idea that might be useful to to you. I hope so. And uh, consider subscribing. And I'll be back with uh, other videos and ideas shortly. Thanks. Bye.